Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We're up five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Don't take anything personally. Become immune to poison. The whole world can gossip about you, and if you don't take it personally, you are immune to, you are immune. Immunity to poison in the middle of hell is the gift of the second agreement. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 212, NASDAQ off 95, S&P's off 30. That was a quick, <laughs> that was a quick 13 points, folks, from when I just did the update uh, and the sell on the way down. Gold, gold contract uh, up five dollars thirty cents at eighteen fifty an ounce. We get silver up eleven cents twenty one dollars sixty eight cents an ounce. Light sweet crude down eighteen cents seventy eight dollars forty one cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. So you get the ten year note trading down eight ticks at one eleven twenty five. The thirty off twenty two at one twenty five seventeen. And king dollar, king dollar is down thirty. Seven ticks trading out at 103.887. Euro is at 106. Yen is at 133. The British pound is at 120 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, bottom line, they, they want to sell this thing, man. They just came in with, a, with the sell. And you can see this, you know, from when I did the update at 3 o'clock. At uh, the bottom line, they've jammed that down another 13 points. And with good game, so that was the first swing point that I, we talked about at the update. That was the 21, uh, 41, 23. We hit that in spades. You get high volume. That's, that puts in place. The uh, bottom line is that this can go right all the, way, all the way to the bottom now. That's what it sets up. You get 41, 11, and we got 40.98. The 41.11 is the high of the low of this morning. We go into the NQs. We take a look at the NQs. You get the same setup inside the NQs. We take a look at the NQs. The first swing point that we had looked at, it banged that out in two seconds, took it out with volume. That swing point we were talking about at three was 12,665. Uh, bottom line, we get down to 12,000, uh, let's see, 12,592. And what's wide open now is, is this number, is the, uh, the high of the low is 12,557. The low is uh, 12,466. And what this was all about, uh, you know, there's always something coming across the tape. This was bullet, okay? Uh, Federal Reserve Bank, St. Louis President Bullard said that he would not rule out supporting a half percent uh, point rise at the Fed's March meeting rather than a quarter that other officials have signaled. My overall judgment is that this will be a long battle against inflation, Bullard told reporters Thursday following a presentation uh, to the Greater Jackson Chamber of, in Jacksonville, Tennessee. He said he wanted to bring Fed policy rate to the 5.3%. 7.5 as soon as possible. And if we go to the Fed and we take a look at it, you're at 4.5 to 5. To, uh, 4.75 to 4.50 to 4.75 right now. This thing's going to go to 5.5, folks. But the bottom line, the PPI came out this morning. It's, it's not even a hot PPI. The PPI is the PPI, man. You're not, uh, inflation's not going to go away in six months, man. Uh, this is the, now, that's the first get-go that they're saying flat out, um, you know, that this is going to be a long, drawn-out affair. That's, you know, I talked about it yesterday. It's going to be a long, drawn-out affair. That's, that's the bottom line. Some of the higher volume equities that we have out here, let's take a look at them. You got, well, actually, let's go to the gold contract first. We take a look at the gold contract. Gold contract that right now is up $5.90. You might take that we're going to 1795 on this baby. You're coming back to the breakout area. You got 156,000 contracts today. That's that's light contract volume. There's, there's no doubt about that, you know. But this is when you when you get down drafts like this and you don't have bids, it's like okay, who's the first one that's going to bid? And this is still all about the U.S. dollar. My take is that the dollar is going to do at least a 0.38 retracement. And a 0.38 retracement from the move is. 106,500. 
106, 700. And listen, it's real possible that we get to, you know, 107. I, I suspect that's how this thing's going to shake out. And what that does, bottom line, that keeps constant pressure on the markets. We're going to take a look at the, the higher volume equities out here. Tesla, they had a big recall, man. That's going to, that's going to cost some bread. Uh, that's, uh, five, that's down $5.50. We have uh, Cisco Systems is up 2 bucks. Roco's up 10 They come out with numbers. Uh, Tosh, look at that. That's down 5 bucks. That's down 20%, man. You got Coinbase off $2.44. Uh, Silvergate Capital is down three seventy seven. dollars you got uh, Twillow is up uh, $11. Inside the NDX 100, the strength versus the weakness inside the NDX. You got CGen is up 14. That's a mon monster. CGen up 14 and a half. Cisco up five and a half. JD.com three and a half. And Airbnb three and a half. Take it away from it. Datadog down six and a half. You got uh, Zscaler down 4.8. Eight, and we go to the Dow Industrials. We take a look at the strength versus the weakness inside the Dow. The point winner right now out here for the Dow is that you get uh, Cisco putting 18 positive points, Home Depot 13, taken away from it. Uh, Microsoft, minus 31, nothing big, minus 31, Boeing 25. These are all minuses, Amgen 25, uh, Disney, uh, where's Disney? Disney 13, you know, so. This is gonna get. This is gonna be an intriguing close. I can tell you that. You know because you gotta remember something. You, <laughs> yeah, you're still in a down market, man. It, it just it. Anyway, it's. And on top of that, you still have your larger ABC structure down on the S and P. So, bottom line, you know we'll see where this thing goes. But this market cannot catch a bid. That's that's on a continual basis. That's how this seems to be. The back and forth, back and forth. No doubt, great for trading. What does happen is that the consistency of lower highs and lower lows is out here in spades. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.